Om Shanti, welcome. We are doing the recording of 13th of August Holy Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to actually be seated on an immortal throne and that is the Akal Takht of our own self. That means I the soul and this is my physical Akal Takht. We are not talking about the Akal Takht of Wahi Guru over here. We are talking about our own self Akal Takht which is right over here where we are seated and from where we have to leave and go back to the main Takht. means to the supreme abode so god here says may you be seated on your immortal throne and so the heart throne heart throne of whose god's heart throne and by becoming a self sovereign that means having all control over your, your own senses a master of yourself and make your physical senses obey to your orders make your physical senses obey to your orders that means i will decide what i have to see i will decide what i have to hear i will decide what i have to speak i will decide what i have to eat i will decide how i have to spend my life in a spiritual way properly as per god's guidance i am an immortal soul seated on the heart throne of god that is i am a self sovereign king that means i the soul i am a self sovereign king of my five senses just like you see a king is always shown ridden in the olden days on a chariot and he's controlling the chariot right so i am a soul i am the king of this complete physical body which is my chariot when a king is seated on this throne all his servants obey his orders that means eyes ears nose mouth they obey the orders but if eyes ears nose mouth don't know that the king is seated over here then they start fighting with each other eyes want to see something ears want to hear something mouth wants to speak something and that's where people say this person doesn't have a personality okay so he doesn't know who he is he is a very confusing person so when we have all our five senses in our control automatically what happens i the soul i am the personality i am that person who is in control of this physical reality as simple as that then god says when you are seated on the on your throne your physical senses automatically want under work under your orders those who are seated on their immortal thrones always have the father's heart throne that means when i'm soul conscious and i'm controlling the physical senses on the basis of spiritual knowledge i'm not looking through anger i'm not hearing through ego or jealousy i'm not uh, speaking out of greed or anger or any kind of impurity then i am sitting on god's heart throne i means i the soul this is because by considering yourself to be a soul you remember the father and there is then nobody you don't look at anybody nor any relations of the body nor possessions of the body you don't see anyone that time because i am a soul my whole relationship is with one god he is my father mother brother sister friend everybody he is so all relationships are with him and i don't remember any possessions of my body the one father is your world and this is why you are automatically seated on the heart throne of the immortal father my whole world is god the father and that is what we practice that is where we try to reach in our life and this is what we learn in brahma kumaris and it is the first and the basic principle of any any form of worship which is done being done in the world that means all the religious texts which you pick up everybody says that one has to be seated on the heart throne of god or let's say you have to be soul conscious so as to go into liberation that's what certain other religions say and this is what we practice on a daily basis that i am a soul i am in control of my five senses not my people not my friends not my relatives not things around me so to learn this beautiful knowledge you are most welcome to attend the session at brahma kumaris om shanti please